All right, in the Fox Light this morning, the New York premiere of El Cantante. Everyone lined up to see Jennifer Lopez and Mark Anthony on the red carpet. But this morning, we're going to show you that even superstars get nervous, right, Linda? You know, I don't know if I am going to show you. There's been so much talk <laughs> of my poor camera work. I don't know if I want to do that now. Ron, Corny. You Corning. having a little champagne on the job? What was going on there, Linda? <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> All right. Actually, I've been very lucky. Over the past five years or so, I got to watch someone who's really close to me bring something that's really close to her heart to the big screen, and it's the movie El Cantante. It's about a Puerto Rican music legend. So there was a special homecoming for this film. It was in Puerto Rico, and I knew that homecoming was worthy of my camera work, Ron, so I took <laughs> it along for this trip. I've got some of those and also some of the fun we had here in New York last night, too. He was known as the singer of singers, um, El Cantante de los Cantantes. Putting on her producer hat, Jen brought the emotional story of legendary salsa singer Hector Lavoe, starring Mark Anthony, to the big screen. I think that the people saw that he was a flawed human being just like anybody else. He wasn't like some in his glass house somewhere, perfect all the time. Jen plays Pucci, his wife of 20 years, who reveled in all the sex, drugs, and rock and roll of Hector's music career. The movie follows his rise to salsa stardom, his descent into drug addiction, and their highly dysfunctional yet highly passionate relationship. In playing the part, you think to yourself, you know, what is, why are you here? What is this about? And at the end of the day, people who stay together, the door's there. You know, when things get hard, a lot of people walk out, but for some reason, they stuck it out together. Making a film about a singer as beloved by Puerto Ricans as Hector Lavoe meant the first premiere had to be in San Juan as the ultimate test. This is what we call the establishing shot. We're in Puerto Rico getting ready for the El Cantante premiere. I'm getting nervous. How come you're not getting nervous? Now when I tie my shoes, I'm really going to look nervous. Jen, Mark, her friend Leah Remini, and I had all day to get ready. We gotta get you in here, the beautiful. Give me. Yeah, I feel like we're going to prom. And we still managed to run late, barely making it out the door. Even though uh, Linda is the one that held up the departure. What? True that. Who was ready at six o'clock? Not only did fans give them a warm greeting on the red carpet, the movie passed the test. It got a phenomenal reception from the audience. And it was time for the after party. But after a long day, we were all pretty tired and knew we had to travel early the next day. Flying back to New York today, but well, last night at midnight, you know, everybody knew it was my birthday, so and we prepared the movie yesterday. It was just a coincidence. We didn't plan it that way, but it was exciting. I don't know if you can hear that. She was just saying that it was the night before her birthday that we went to the premiere. So at midnight, people sang. It was very cool, and they caught a lot of that in the papers. And what a way to celebrate after five years of this thing sort of being in the process from beginning to end. So Jennifer, your sister, produces Mark in this film, and their marriage comes out unscathed. Relatively unscathed. That was That's really crazy. That's right? They were actually more scared of how the movie was going to get received in Puerto Rico. It was really nerve-wracking for them. That's all they talked about all day. But it got received really well, so it was great. I great. Guess. And it opens here next week? Friday, August 3rd. Put in camera. Friday, August 3rd. <laughs> That's when it opens. At a theater near you. At a theater near you. All right, Linda, thank you for that. We appreciate it.